Hello, assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my MacBook Pro, which is a 16 inch 1TB. Um, I did have a MacBook prior to this. Um, I didn't have it for very long. It was a gift from my husband. Some of you might already know actually, a thief literally crawled into our house through the window. He walked right past me as I was sleeping. And all of us were at home, my kids, my husband, me. He literally just took my MacBook off the shelf and I didn't have it for very long at all. Obviously, considering the fact that now, you know, I've got a whole website to run, um, working on a couple other ones, you know, all the video editing and the photo editing, you know, for, for the website, for YouTube. Unfortunately, my current laptop, which was on the day that the thief took my laptop, a brother, he, he gifted us literally a brand new laptop in a box. Bless him. You know, it wasn't the best laptop, but it it was really nice to have something in that moment when the thief took my phone. I had no phone, I had no laptop, I had pretty much no connection with the outside world aside from my own family that's in my household. It was really nice to have that at that moment but unfortunately obviously for what I use it now it's just not strong enough. But I downloaded Photoshop for example. When you're trying to do something it just shuts down when it can't handle it. Now using Photoshop, you know, Final Cut Pro and all these kind of things I would need a more powerful laptop. Ideally a bigger screen as well so that's why I went for the 16 inch one. Also in terms of the memory space I opted for the 1TB. It was a little bit more expensive than the other ones but you know, it's an investment. Here's the package. Yeah. This is how it's arrived. I bought it from Curry's. The price, I can't remember exactly how much it was. It was roughly 2,000 kind of 600 pounds. But I also ordered the USB port as well. The MacBook Pro doesn't have the USB ports so I had to get that as well. I've been really busy with launching the, the website and working on the website so I've been very patient to open this with you guys so bismillah i am so sorry about the noise right now there's a helicopter flying above my house and it's been ages now and it's just not stopping let's open it inshallah okay, so here's the box again love that sound but here's the charger as everyone always tells you guys and the adapter the plug into the actual socket. Oh, this is a little bit different. Didn't have that last time. Oh, okay. So you plug it in there. That's your instructions. So that's the silver one. And that's the beautiful sheet that gives you the amazing experience. Okay, so turns on instantly as soon as you remove the tissue so here's the keyboard the buttons i did think it would be slightly bigger than this i don't know why i imagined it to be massive but it's beautiful okay so this these are the kind of steps you have to take attach your registered laptop Okay, use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac to purchase with Apple Pay. Start by placing your finger or thumb on the Touch ID. Okay, so this is what this laptop is known for. So as you can see, the touchpad is quite wide. Choose your look. I'll go for light. I like light. Uh, true to tone, C without true tone display. That's my Mac being set up. Okay, so that was the unboxing video. Here's Safari. The last time I had one was in September. Yeah, I really miss this. We've got all of these gadgets on here. I will probably install Final Cut Pro. I've got settings on here. I am used to Windows now. I can't wait to actually sit down and use it properly. And obviously with this one, you know, we have touch bar. Let's see what it's... I'm literally... Oh, okay. So when you click these, um, you know, you can increase and decrease your brightness. Your volume... Mute. Oh, nice. I haven't used this before because the last one I had was just, um, you know, the classic MacBook Pro without any of these fancy things. It's going to be nice to get started. I'll have to connect to my Wi-Fi as well because I haven't done it yet. I have ordered myself a cover 
for the MacBook itself. I don't think I'll have issues because I think they've uh, upgraded the keyboard since the last one. I do remember it wasn't as flat, it was quite uh, slightly higher. Also just for the ports I've got the dust plugs as well just to make sure no dust gets in there because that's how you end up having lots of problems. I've heard that the speakers in these have been improved as well for the sound quality. If you guys want me to do a in-depth review of it I'd be happy to just let me know. So here's everything that was in the box. I'll see you guys in my next video.